This is going to be the last blind reaction, and I did save this episode specifically for this. I actually have no idea what I'm going to be seeing. It's an episode called All My Students. I know it's a Mrs. Brinks episode. I only know the logline. I do think my thoughts are better organized when I've seen the episode beforehand, and I have seen everything else in the show up to this point. So, last blind reaction. I did save it for this. All My Students. My darling, I'm innocent of those malpractice charges. The only thing I'm guilty of is loving you. Mrs. Brinks watching TV in class. <laughs> As usual, we are back from gym and Mrs. Brinks is not watching teacher. her favorite soap opera, Hospital Beach. She's in love with Dr. Bobby, the creepy doctor who is always in love. <laughs> <laughs> of course Mrs. Brinks is like a creepy guy. Doesn't surprise me. I believe Nanette Manoir has an announcement to make. Doesn't she always? According to my personal records, this year Mrs. Briggs celebrates her <laughs> anniversary Age. teaching. Censored. And as is Tapwater Elementary tradition, our class will celebrate this anniversary by throwing her a Golden Gala Celebrity Jubilee. Um, uh... What is it, Angela Anaconda? How Being dare you not stroke my ego! Celebrity Jubilee? Does that mean there is going to be a celebrity there? Why, yes. I myself will be performing my famous celebrity ballet solo from The Nutcracker Suite. Any other ridiculously obvious questions? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that thing's so highly of herself. And we have Gina Lash in charge of dessert. I see a mound of tiny Donny cakes surrounded by a border of I see her eating them. Squirrels. Decorations, Gordy Reinhardt. I see gold everywhere gold. Streamers, balloons, Chinese lanterns. And last, and I'm afraid least, Angela Anaconda will be in charge of entertainment. Your duty is to find townspeople to do tribute acts to supplement my grand finale performance. What? But finding townspeople to do tribute acts is the most work of all the work. Oh, are you saying you don't want to help out Mrs. Briggs? Let yes! Let her know how much you hate her. Oh, Mrs. Briggs! I'm sure! Mrs. Briggs! I'm sure she knows. Wait. I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> and so, since everyone... To be fair, Mrs. Briggs would probably make life worse for her knowing. You would think it would that kind of teacher. Oh yes, Mrs. Brink taught me many things. Two times two equal the worst teacher I ever had! How old is Mrs. Brink? The problem with having Mrs. Brinks for a teacher is that everyone remembers having Mrs. Brinks for a teacher. So since also, there's nobody in town yearbooks? willing to tribute Mrs. Brinks, I have no choice ah! but to look for someone who has left town and forgotten Automatically how love Mrs. Brinks really is. To Mrs. Brinks, love always, Clarence Korpinski. Someone wrote love always to Mrs. Brinks? What a loser. <laughs> yeah. That loser looks like Corey Cray, who plays Dr. Bobby, the doctor who is always in love on Hospital Beach. Oh, your looks like Mrs. Oh That's what the show looks like. Clarence Korpinski must have changed his name to Corey Cray. I think he had a nose job, too. He even wrote his phone number. All right. Oh, Sue, play Angela Anaconda. Gina got a funny line. Do you think someone like you could convince a real celebrity to come back to Tapwater Springs? That's what you said! Well, yeah. Oh, I'm sure you're right. In fact, why don't you use my cell phone and call them up right now? Angela Anaconda, that phone number's probably older than Mrs. Brinks. There's no way he still has the same... Hello, Dr. Bobby? I mean, Mr. Cray, who plays Dr. Bobby? Um, we're planning a celebrity tribute for an old teacher of yours, Mrs. Brinks, and, um, uh, you remember her? In a good way? That's great! You do? You will? Alright, see you Saturday! He can't wait to come! He's even going to read one of his own love poems from his book of poetry. Dr. Bobby, on call for love. Did he have Mrs. Brinks have a thing? It's free for friends and family, but I'm afraid you are neither. <laughs> or is he just that way now? now Maybe Mrs. Prince was pretty, pretty when she was young, I don't know. Who is really famous, everyone who said no before is now saying yes. Yo, yo, Angela, hey, I think Dr. Bobby may need some musical accompaniment under his poem. So 
soap operas are popular in tap water springs. Me and the cowboy have perfected a roller disco routine for Corey Craig. I mean, uh, Mrs. Brick. <laughs> move, move, move! Now, I know what you're going to say about my gymnastics routine, but in my day... Mm, Mr. Matterson? Okay, Mr. Briggs, what can I sign you up I'm for? learning so much about the tap water springs people. I'm sure I couldn't compete with Dr. Bobby the body. It's best you just Poor leave thing. me out of it and give Mr. Gray more time to make my wife happy. You poor thing! Well, Kel surprise Angela Anaconda. Looks like you actually managed to do your job. And Mr. Don't poor Mr. Mr. Briggs, he deserves to be Mr. happy. He's in such I'll an abusive situation. Oh my god. This is actually kind of funny. So, where is this Dr. Bobby that Mrs. Brinks can't stop talking about day and night, <coughs> night and day? Hmm, I too have noticed that your little celebrity hasn't shown yet. He'll be here. All I can say is, the doctor is out. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just calling them the Blues Brothers, those two dudes.
Really? Well, now that that's over with, it's time for my grand finale. Refreshments are served! buy for one single second that Mrs. Brinks actually likes Mr. Brinks because she's denied him affection on several occasions. I think she just liked being the center of attention. I think she liked the drama of the situation. And we've seen as the audience that he does love her. Personally, I think he can do better. And we've also seen that Mrs. Brinks is very quick to turn on somebody when they stop giving her attention. She's even turned on Annette a few times. So, I think she just likes the drama, the attention, being the center of attention, and whoever is willing to stroke her ego, even if it's brief, she'll latch onto it. But then very quickly drops them when they stop feeding her ego. That's my understanding of the character. And it took me forever to get to that point, too. I think the best way I can understand this person is... Somebody who never grew out of this immature teenage mentality. Somebody who stayed this gossipy, toxic teenager, even as an old woman. Which is actually kind of a funny idea. But, poor Mr. Brinks. Man, this episode really did feel like a soap opera.